John Muir doesn't come from the art world. He was invited by his mother-in-law, uh, Paula Rigo, to make a small sculpture for a show at the Haywood Gallery in London where, called Spellbound, and she asked him to make a sculpture of Pinocchio to stand in front of a painting. The sculpture was so powerful and uh, captivating that uh, when Charles Saatchi saw it, he became immediately very interested and went to see Ron and asked him if he could buy the sculpture and would Ron make three new sculptures for him, which he did. And one of those sculptures is the famous Dead Dad. And today, when we organize museum shows of his around the world, one of the very first questions is, can we borrow Dead Dad? as a starting place for the exhibition. I think that Ron speaks very directly to people in France and people, not just in the art world, but the general public can see that here is a unique and uniquely powerful artist. The sculptures, at first you think they might move, they might speak, but more importantly, the subject matter of the sculptures somehow gets under one's skin and one feels that at a deep level they're speaking not only about themselves but about one's own experience of life. So if you look for example at the woman with shopping you don't have to be a woman, you don't have to be married, you don't have to have a baby, you don't have to have shopping to know exactly the sort of courage that she's displaying in her life and how tough it is for her and how much we can admire her as a human being. This show, in one form or another, is going to Buenos Aires very shortly and then we'll go on in South America and then we hope that it'll go to New York afterwards, where he hasn't had a show for 10 or 12 years. And it's worth remembering that this is somebody who can make sometimes one sculpture a year. He has certainly assistants, but everything is really done with his hand and his eye. And it's incredibly impressive. Ron would never do anything unless it were perfect. And that is the most important thing for him. So we always wait. He never lets anybody down. And virtually every work is a masterpiece.